Okay, so this is a video that I was watching and this is why I actually get frustrated at some of the developers at uh, at at the, uh, over at uh, Namco, Bandai Namco, I believe that, that, that the, they made Tekken 8. I don't care who made it, but yeah, whatever. Okay, so Ingress is playing Anakin and Anakin is, well, he's known as one of the best players in the world however i've seen this happen at very low ranks as well and this has happened to me multiple times when i'm playing how wrong doesn't happen when i play Ju but play with Ju play using julia as uh, julia has more of the generic tools that uh, ba basically uh, most second second character should have except that she doesn't have a parry i believe that all correct character all characters in tekken should have a parry which steals the turn all of them should have it it's not that some of them should have it all of them and i'm not talking about the ones that can be chickened I'm talking about the parry that can steal the turn at least uh, let you get some kind of a jab string on so with anakin what we're looking at here is a match between leroy and over here most of harang's weaknesses will be on clear display so the first thing, uh, the one problem with Haorong is that he has no quick low like Julia's, uh, I think it's down three. Julia's a very quick down three. The problem over here with this move right now, let me just show it to you. The problem with this uh, uh, down forward one is that it's very difficult to confirm whether it hit or not. It's very difficult to confirm because when it does hit you don't you do not have enough time to press three for the entire combo to be completed so this is actually a flaw in the design of the game if you're giving how wrong one of his only mid combos like guaranteed combos if he hits the three uh, if he hits the one he's also going to hit the three then they should have added a stagger animation of some kind which lets him you know have this frame advantage where he can also hit the three something along those lines or it should just be automatic that if you get the three you will automatically get get uh, if you get the one you'll automatically get the three and there are characters in this game that actually do that so if you hit one uh one of the moves and the rest of the move completes itself even 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 uh Harang has it the flappy kicks you don't need to hit the button twice you only need to hit it once Okay, and I think, uh, I believe it was Cloudy or it was Lee that if you get the hit, uh, if you get a counter hit, then he immediately kind of like slams you. I don't, I don't remember what it was. Anyway, so over here, Harang's almost all of his weaknesses are, are being displayed here. The first uh, weakness is that, uh, well, the first, this is also a weakness in the in Harang's game. That is low. This this low is so slow. This one that that uh, that he just did, and he got low parried. This should be 13 frames counter hit launcher. This should be 13 frames counter hit launcher. And again, Leroy has very good tools against Harong. And uh, oh, that that should have been a punish. And again, Harong's parry should parry everything. I think it should parry everything. The problem with how wrong from this range that you see that range, that whiff. Now the back three is, I mean, most people know that it can be launched by anybody. The problem is how wrong should have a move similar to Lashing Arrow, not the Peacekeeper, some, some, something like Lashing Arrow, which even if he doesn't, you know, hit the other person, at least he doesn't get punished for it so he can close the gap problem is that Haorong needs, because by design he is very slow to initiate attacks, needs at least plus one or plus two frames for most attacks that he does. And over here, Ingress, if he had a tool, he would be ready for a whiff so he can just like close the gap in. Or Haorong should have some kind of, a, you know, a, a stance where he actually closes the gap in like the swift step that uh, Julia has. 
and or something close to what uh, these uh, these other characters have that can close the gap down uh, like kunimitsu has had one so kunimitsu has that i think knife throw or something Arong, of course is a taekwondo player so they could have come up with something more creative for that but then again see that that is the problem with Arong. you have to get into into plus frames you and the fastest move that you can do is one two so and one two going to flamengo you get counter hit by anybody who has a high crush and Harong doesn't have a high crush, not even in this game has a high crush. And now, he really can't do anything from here. Like, the problem with this move, with this move, the one that he just did, is that the corrector was far away. The corrector was far away. It should have been a bigger stagger, so at least he could, he could recover from this. Or there should be a guaranteed follow-up that puts uh, Harong into more plus frames, even if, it's, if, even if it gets blocked. So that's the thing. You can see that he, he has absolutely no move that can that can basically uh, close the range. Okay, I mean, okay, he, okay, okay. I know that he has some homing move that he can do from stance, but why do you need to get into a stance for that? Like when you're in a stance, people will be ready for it anyway. So, and Peacekeeper can easily be stepped. Now like he cannot do anything. He cannot do anything uh, like uh, due to the weaknesses of the character, and trust me, this is this is a weakness. This is by design. It's a weakness. And he over here misses the combo probably because he's very very worried about uh, facing um, Anakin. So he probably missed the input. And again, uh, Harong does not have an easy way to enter a mix-up like uh, Leroy just did. He has a forward forward uh, four, which puts him into right flamingo. Uh, I think forward, uh, it's, I believe it's called forward to four. Probably that's how the notation is said. So all of the weaknesses on Harong are basically uh, on full display here. And look, look at that. This one of these moves that Leroy has, I'm pretty sure uh he Anakin uh, sorry not Anakin English. He should an attack before Leroy. And Harong's uh counter hit move, which is no longer in, in Tekken 8, is his that uh, two jabs that he does one plus two forward, forward one plus two. Uh, it's very slow, 15 frames. I think it's still 15 frames over here. And his 13 frame counter hit is a high. I don't know how many frames this move has, but it's it, it's very super fast. It at least looks super fast. And it even if it's not super fast, it might be 14 frames. It looks like it's fast. And for some reason, it connects more, more often than people actually think. It like immediately like it it's hidden or what you I do not know whether you'd call it hidden. I mean it just like pops just like that. And you can't even you can't even see it coming. So, and Arong's uh, back four a counter hit can be seen like from a mile away. That I mean most people are just going to duck it or they'll just block it. And Harong is in minus frames. The problem with Leroy is that even after he's in minus frames, he has tools and Harong has absolutely no tools, absolutely no tools for dealing with minus frames. Even in Tekken 8, he doesn't have those. So it is so disappointing that one of the most interesting characters in the game doesn't have the generic tools that most, most uh, Tekken characters have. And this is not only just one example, I can also have the Kavis versus Lucky Chloe example, where I think he was fighting somebody called Evil or something, and uh, he was getting absolutely wrecked on it. Now, I'm not saying that this is basically uh, all because of Harang being weak. Anakin is one of the best players in the world. I mean, look, he's absolutely helpless. He cannot do anything at all. Like nothing, he can do nothing. There's nothing that he can do when when uh, when he's in minus frames. He's nothing. Like no evasive moves, no steel turning moves that uh, Harang has. Nothing. He just has this stupid like the stupid back one, which is so bloody unreliable. 
and uh, the problem is that the, this Anakin, the way he's playing, I've seen lower rank, lower ranks play Leroy exactly like this and beat Harong. My Harong, and I've also seen other Harongs be, being beaten by lower ranks like this. So, and then that stupid move that uh, they have given him, which should have been like 13 frames or something, this one, it should be, it should always knock down. It should always knock down on block. Uh, oh, it should it should stagger an opponent for a follow up, which of course isn't isn't really an option right now. But one thing that you'll notice is as soon as Hauron gets his turn, he's un unbeatable. Like as soon as as soon as he wins the turn, as soon as Hauron wins the turn. He, he becomes a monster so he's broken in two ways the first way he's broken is is that when he's in negative frames he doesn't have any kind of evasive steel turning move and the opponent is also at an advantage when 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 harang is in plus frames is because they can duck and basically they can they can avoid most of his well powerful moves and even when he puts a person in a mix-up, how wrong? He is also in a mix-up because if the opponent guesses correctly, you, you're done. And then, then the parry, like the parry. So even though I think Anakin could have won the turn, uh, he got parried. Basically, this how wrong's weaknesses are on full display here. I do not know what these developers were thinking. They should have, they should have given him more tools.